What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys what happens when you press play now in Team Infinity mini seasons, and it says that you don't have enough eligible players to fill out your team, and therefore you cannot play mini seasons. We're gonna take care of that air right now and show you guys how to fix it. If this does help you out, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and turn those notifications on so you guys don't miss out on any MLB The Show 23 tips. And once we are done fixing that air, we're gonna do something else that you guys have been waiting for. So stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna go to single player. We're gonna go to Team Infinity Season 1. We're gonna click on Play Now and it's gonna say, you don't have enough eligible players for this challenge. So you're gonna go back, Team Infinity. View edit roster, and you're gonna also go back. If you back out real quick, it tells you that you can use captains, charisma series, live series, and any of the flashback and legends under 90 overall found in Team Affinity Season 1. So go to edit, and you'll notice like a lot of times when you go to change a player, you'll notice it replaces a player and the other player is no longer available. And that's because it puts it puts players on your roster that you cannot use. So the easiest way to fix it, just go through each position and change the player. Obviously you probably wanna to change to a player that you more rather use, but I'm just gonna go through it, change the player to the first player that pops up because I don't, it doesn't matter for me. I've already done it. And we're just gonna show you guys that this works. Javier Baez, Tommy Evan. I'm gonna even change all my pitchers to be on the safe side. I'm choosing all the higher overalls anyways. Same with my bullpen, making sure we change all those guys and then we should be good. So now when we back out and we go back to Team Infinity and we press play now, it now lets us in the game. And that's how you fix Team Infinity's air when it says you don't have enough eligible players to play. Just go in there, simply change your lineup, and you should be good to go. Now, like I said, quick fix. So what else are we gonna do today? Well, we're gonna go over to the marketplace. We're going to go over to equipment. We're gonna filter by gold, and we're gonna start with batting gloves. Now I have 320,000 stubs. I don't know how long I'm gonna be doing this, but we're gonna go ahead and flip and see if we can make more than 320,000 stubs. So we're gonna see if we can get to like 330. 330 is gonna be the goal. And we are starting with gold batting gloves. We are doing equipment. So let's go ahead and do this. 412, we'll take that, Oop, 412. If I mess this up and I accidentally buy a card, my bad. It's a lot harder to do this as you're talking. I ain't gonna lie. Like maybe I sh shouldn't even talk. Uh, 1089, just gonna, just gonna write down. I always say the prices in my head because it blurs, oh wait, okay. It doesn't blur it out no more, I just realized that. They fixed it. Yeah, it doesn't blur it out no more. I wish they could move that though. I can't freaking see the the order. Uh, 381, but at least when we go to sell it, it's not blurred out no more because they just had a patch today to fix that. W, W move for people that are trying to flip. Love it, W patch. But this is basically gonna teach you how to flip. This You flip one by one, and you flip multiple cards at once, not just one card. When you invest, that's when you buy multiple of the same card, because you're investing in that card, uh, expecting it to go up, or hoping it goes up, should I say. When you're flipping, you're literally just trying to get volume, and it doesn't matter if the flip is 100 stubs profit, it doesn't matter if it's 50 stubs profit, especially when you have a low stub count, you just flip to flip, and it's early in the morning. We're talking about it's seven o'clock in the morning. I don't really expect to make anything off of this. I just wanna show you guys how to do it. Now we will have a flipping challenge to see how much we can make in like 30 minutes or an hour. Uh, so stay tuned for that video and subscribe if you guys are ready to see that, if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, three, oh my, I forgot already, 327, okay. 327 for that. And we gotta make sure we get margins, you know? Are, are all these like margins to flip? They should be. I should be checking to double check, but 
normally I could see I'm taking the 10% tax in effect. So when you sell a car, it taxes you 10%. So if you sell for a thousand, you're only getting uh, 900 of it. So keep that in mind. You sell something for 900, you're getting it for like 810, 80 something. So just be weary, weary or aware of that, you know, when you are trying to flip that it is going to tax you. So I just like, if, I, if everything's under a thousand, just take away a hundred of it and see if it's still a profit. If it's, if it's 400, take away 40. Simple as that. Uh, next, now, see, we did batting gloves. Let's go with fielding gloves. Do the same thing. 858. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, if all this stuff's going to sell by the time you guys see it. But if you guys join my live streams at twitch.tv slash American Blood, uh, we will definitely be showing that off on the stream when we first start. So turn those notifications on. Because I'm not buying anything else. I'm going to work after this. So when I come home, we'll see if everything is properly sold. Normally, it sells within like a few minutes or so. But obviously, I have to go to work. So I can't just like repost stuff. If some stuff doesn't sell, I'm going to have to go to work. And then hopefully, it sells while I'm at work. I'll check the companion app and repost stuff while I'm at work um, on my lunch break or something. Oh, 414. 414, yeah. Um, 322. Okay, 702. I mean, I saw that some stuff I got already. So it's just a matter of it seeing if it actually sells when I go back to sell it. And I'll show you guys how to do that before I leave too. It's like, how do you know what, what you bought? Well, you don't. So you have to kind of go through everything. But it's really easy, really simple. Because uh, you do it the same way as you do when you buy it. You just go back through the thing and look for things that you have in your inventory now. And you just sell everything. Because I don't really keep equipment. I sell pretty much any equipment I ever get. I don't keep any of it. So, now we go cleats. Now, cleats, as you see, these margins are going up a little bit. Um, it's still... it's st now, you're get now you're getting a better margins, obviously. But... Will this stuff go through before the margins close up a little bit? Um, and it's more risky, two, four, three. But if you have enough stubs, it can be well worth the risk. I haven't lost stubs on this yet in like probably, I don't know, three years of doing it. 2408, 2409. Oh, no catcher mask. Uh, chest protectors you could do. Uh, you could do these if you like. Some of these have really good margins. And they go pretty fast, I think. For the most part. 1835. Um, 2341. Oops, 2341. Some margins you want to stay away from. But in this case, we do everything. Everything that we can do, we, poss we can possibly do. So 1709, um, 2356. And I don't think I'm really gonna like cut much of this video out. It's gonna be a raw video, I'm pretty sure. Raw video, just me flipping cards. You guys get to see a little bit of everything. You guys get to see it all in action. Uh, leg guards, I don't, elbow guards, yeah. We do elbow guards, 672. I think all the leg guards are silver. Uh, 2120. Uh, 693. 2463-2463. 651-651. And seven four seven seven four seven. I think like a flight number seven four seven. Um, nine eight zero nine eight zero. Oh, so our, someone already outbid me on that one. Fifteen eight two, but that don't matter. I'm not gonna go back to it right now. Oh, someone already outbid me on that one too. Uh, nine nineteen two five. It's like someone's watching me do this right now. That's crazy. Um, uh, nine one six. A lot of people do this, so. It does happen. 
Uh, all these orders are going to go through, and that's okay. I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do with that. Uh, 837 and how that works. Um, risk guards. Ooh, nice. 2033. That's why if you watch the entire video, you'll understand this. If you skip through this video, you might not understand it. So that's why I try to tell you guys, don't skip through videos. There might be some information you might, you might want to know. Stick around for. Uh, let's see. Next up, compression sleeve. Uh, 1251. Some of these go for a lot. 3191. There we go. Uh, 1634, 1634, there we go, 1104, 1104, and 1309, 1309, 3458-3458-3012, 3012. There you go. And back grips, eyewear, uh, 1641, 1641, 1, 1370, 1370, 1126, 1126, 3271, 3271, 3188, 3188. And now we're on rituals, which I don't, I mean, you could flip these. Um, I typically don't flip these. So now we're going to go back to the same thing. And I'm going to go gold on batting gloves. And now I'm going to look for stuff that's sold. So I'm looking for sellable stuff. So this one's sellable. I'm put. I'm putting in order for this. 17, 9, uh, 7. And just keep on going down the list. Finding stuff that I have that's sellable. You just look at the sellable cost. You can click on it real quick. It's pretty easy. 608. Uh, two, six, three. I try to sell for like one under, whatever the cheapest is. Sometimes I do two under because I know there's like people on this market doing the same thing. So I try to outsmart them just slightly. They're going to go one under. So I'm going to go two under just because. Of course, doesn't want to work. Nine, seven, five. Oh, another one. Five, seven, two, five, seven, one. All right, next, fielding gloves, same thing. Oh, 2094, 2094, 1168. Um, As you can see, top right, all those buy orders are still going through. So I'm getting buy orders to go through. So I'll probably have to go through this again in case any early ones that I already passed have went through. Uh, six, four, six, four, eight. Um, next page. Nope. Nothing there. Cleats. Oh, we got cleats. Two, seven, four, three, two, seven, four, three, four, four, nine, four, 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 nine, four. Two, nine, nine, two, two, nine, nine, two. 1396, 2994, 2994, and we're done with cleats. Uh, oh, no catcher mask, that's right. Chest protectors. Ooh, 2831, 2831, 2470, 2470. Two nine four three, two nine four three, 
2580, 2350, 2580, 2580, 2587. And we're done with chest protectors. Lay guards, there is none. Got none of those. Shin guards. 2000, oops, 2000, did I say 2000, not 200, um, 16 to 6, 16 to 6, 12, 20, next, wrist guards, 2926, 2926, Compression sleeves, 1722, 1722, 2443, 2443, 1621, 1621, nothing else. Fat grips, 4145, 4145, that's it. Eyewear, 2190, 2190. 1743, 1743, 1297, 2445, 2445, 1896, 1896. And that's it on that one. Socks, 3996, 3996. That's it on that one. That goes to rituals. So now we're going to start over and make sure everything. We have everything up right now. Oh, we just got a buy order for an elbow guard. So we'll go check that. Oh, see, 1742, 1742. That was one of the things that went through. Another buy order for play hard. Oh, play hard, it's right here. Uh, 590, 590, um, page two. I try to give those buy orders a little bit extra time to go through, especially the ones I did later on, because you just never know. More sell orders. Cleats. All right. Chest protectors. I don't think I've seen any extra ones go through. Elbow guards. Now we know one of these went through. It's the last one. Okay, 1186. 1186. Wrist guards. Nope. Compression sleeves. Nope. Back grips we already did. And we should be good to go. So now what do we do? So oh, we go to our active orders and we go down and we start canceling all of our old buy orders. Oh, one just went through. Like you don't have to cancel them. I just like cancel them and just redo the same process. I would start doing the whole process over again. And that way these old ones, in case the margins got small, I don't have to worry about losing stubs off of those, those buy orders. Oh, Diamond Elite, about to look that up. So a couple of them went through. Oops, don't want to cancel sell orders. <clears throat> Remember, we are at 320. So we're trying to get above 320 again. 
Okay, then now these are all sell orders. We need 20K. Obviously, there's 20K in there easily, uh, way more than 20K. Uh, let's go ahead and find out which orders or what, what order went through. Because I honestly don't know. Uh, eyewear, maybe? We're looking for two more orders that just went through. I could check it. Uh, completed orders. Um, a late guard went through. Looks like a late guard. Okay. A late guard. Or not. I didn't do it. I didn't do late guards though. So how'd that go through? I'm confused on that one. Shin guard? Ah, shin guard. Yeah, a good one too. 1965. That's a, that's a solid one right there. Um, let's go back to batting gloves. I have a feeling one went through. Or not. Oh, yep, there it is. 991. 991. There we go. So now we just wait for stuff to sell. Um, stuff is going to sell. Typically, this is like when you go play a game, come back and see what sells, what doesn't. If it doesn't sell, you take it off the market and you repost it. And that's all you guys got to do. Anyways, we'll wait for some of this to sell, see if we can make some profit, and hopefully I can show you guys at the end of the video before I go to work. If not, you'll see me again, and you'll have to check the stream later on tonight. All right, so we are done flipping, and our completed orders have went through. Um, so far, we made about 6,500 stubs profit, but we do have a few orders, so about eight. 9,000 stubs, uh, it took me about 15 minutes to snipe, uh, to basically flip all these cards. Took a while for some of them to sell, but see, you don't wait for these cards to sell. You just keep on flipping is what you want to do or go play the game or whatever. And you just gradually made stubs uh, by flipping, basically buying, and then putting up orders. Takes about 15 minutes to do so. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this type of video and you'd like to see more flipping challenges, leave a like on this video and comment down below. And subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and turn those post notifications on so you guys don't miss out on future videos. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.